every half moon, Darla finds herself undeniably attracted to her neighbor, game show host Dallas Rains. The idea of spooning or forking plays on repeat in her mind. Dallas is headed to Palm Springs for a Friars Club getaway, where he looks forward to a weekend of continental breakfasts. Dallas is the kind of guy who irons his jeans. He asks Darla to check his mail because it's always piling up with orthopedic shoe catalogs and menus to Korean barbecue places. Darla thinks this is great. She'll have the keys to his place. She can spray her pillowcase with his cologne. Oh, wait, Dallas doesn't wear cologne. He says it makes him think of Seth Rogen, but she'll sniff his pillows and steal a sweater. That's a given. Lately, Darla has had the feeling Dallas might like her. Then again, maybe not. Sociopaths gravitate towards bright lights, which is why Darla avoids shopping malls, driving ranges, and Christmas trees. Today, she found her victim at Santa Monica Place. Did you know German chocolate isn't from Germany? It was invented by a guy named Sam German. You crazy bitch, what is going on? Don't you remember this morning? I was taking pictures for my blog, and you were like, don't take pictures, don't do that. And I was like, what? Random memories of her mother begin to give her anxiety about her work as a social vigilante. I know you're my daughter, but you are so boring. I feel like I could kill myself sometimes. <laughs> I was taking a photo for my blog. I'm doing a whole series it's on against Windows policy, things. Darla. Policy? You make it sound like it has to do with the State Department. Anyway, your tone was not cool. My tone? Yeah, that tone. BRB. Darla's most intimate relationship is with Google. She Googles how to dispose of a dead body because she's never done it like this before. The moment she sits down, the ADD kicks in and she gets sidetracked looking for where to find an amazing churro. Google recommends the Santa Monica Pier. Darla arrives home but has forgotten what she was up to. Oh, yeah, she was intent on killing that shop girl shithead. Ow! Maybe I should just let you go. I'm not really feeling this anymore. Are you sure? Okay, cool. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Next time, just don't take pics. That's not a real policy. Okay. Jesus Christ, crazy. Kill me already. Well, I can't kill you if you want to die. That defeats the whole purpose. Okay, I want to die. I'm just going to cut you out of this saran wrap. Bummer. After slicing up the body like a French baguette and stuffing the body into a trash bag, Darla heads back to the pier. She quickly tosses it in the trash can after realizing it would draw too much attention throwing it into the ocean. Oddly, nobody made a fuss about her shoving it in the trash. It's strange the things you can get away with in public. If a girl dies in a house and no one's around to see it, is she actually dead? Yes. Yes, she is. She's dead. That make me crazy.